one thing I really wanted to ask you about was one of the later chapters in in your new book, which is around being politically savvy. I mean, this is particularly interesting because I know this is certainly the case in in the UK. But when you talk about being, when we talk about being politically savvy, straight away that can trigger lots of emotions in people because it feels a little bit sort of, I don't know, self-serving, Machiavellian. We might have some really strong negative connotations linked to it because of politics. Like what's, t- tell us a little bit more about that and specifically why you included that in the book. So first of all, it is the one I think that surprised people the most right? Because you kind of have this view of politics. It's either your emotional intelligence and ability to kind of understand what people want. It's not really viewed as being that strategic in some sense, you know? And again, I came out of a a background originally, you know, decision theory, game theory, negotiation theory, strategic negotiation, alliance building, you know, looking at some big international conflicts. There is absolutely a strategic dimension to building coalitions, to building alliances, right? So that's the origins of kind of my thinking about this. But the point you're making is a great one, right? And I think that I absolutely get people, even relatively senior people saying, I hate politics. And my answer is always get over it, you know, um, or be a fatality, you know, because the reality is organizations are political by their nature, right? And by political, I mean, you've got powerful players pursuing agendas. Those agendas are partially about things in the organization, but there's almost always a personal dimension to them of advancement, right, or recognition or whatever. And as you get to more senior levels in organizations, somewhat maybe paradoxically, right, things become more political, right? Why do they become more political? You've got strong, you know, ambitious people contending for influence. You've got problems that don't have answers that are reasonably you know, attain through, you know, analysis, right? So opinion, right? Judgment, support become more and more important. And then you're dealing with external environments that are highly political, right? You're dealing with governments, you're dealing with other key stakeholders in the environment. So if as a senior leader, you're not politically savvy, what does that mean? It means you're not able to build the alliances you need to build to get things done inside your organization. And it means you're not able to shape the external environment in support of your organization and strategy, right? So where people get hung up on this is the self-serving part of it, you know, and it, it's there, right? For sure it's there. But there's also a really critical part that is about building alliances to get important things done, right? And so if you want, if, if, if you kind of want a positive frame on what you're doing, that's what you're doing. You're building alliances to get important things done. Oh, by the way, because you have to. Right? Because you're not going to get things done if you don't build those alliances. And, you know, as I sort of said earlier, you know, political savvy is one of the three chapters in the book that's about mobilizing your organization, right? The other is doing structured problem solving in teams. Uh, and the third is visioning, but also enlisting people in the vision. But that political savvy piece, you know, especially in large and complex organizations where leaders don't have the authority to mandate what's going to get done, it's, it's absolutely essential. Hey, before you go, let me tell you about what is possibly the most exciting development in the entire history of my business. It's called Ben AI. It's my AI clone that gives you instant, on-demand and personalized coaching whenever and wherever you need it. It's been created using every piece of content I've developed in the past 11 years and everything I've learned about leadership in my entire life. Because you're a listener to this podcast, I want you to be one of the first to get hold of it and I want to give you some exclusive discounts. Right now, I'm looking for 20 beta testers who will get unlimited access to Ben AI for two weeks. If you want to be one of those beta testers, or if you just want to know more and receive details about when we launch and those exclusive discounts, please just click on the link in the show notes wherever you happen to be listening to this episode. That's it for now. See you soon.